hello and welcome back to the Supreme Ghost Thief. Today we are continuing with our Black Parade prep, and we're going to play The Sound of a Burrick in a room. Yes, I know this is not that mission. Um, before I get to The Sound of a Burrick, I'm going to show you a couple of things uh, from Disorientation. So if you're not interested in that, you can skip forward, just check the timestamp um, if you want to get to Skakia's mission. But yeah, there are two things that I want to do here. First, one of my viewers pointed out that I forgot to close a panel in the Mercantile Guild. Uh, so I'm going to go back and do that because this mission is Supreme Ghostable and my run wasn't a Supreme Ghost and I want to do that to be complete. That's just for my own sanity as much as for the record on uh, video. Uh, of course, if I had written a report about the mission, I would have said that I've ghosted it, or Supreme did, and nobody would have been the wiser. But since I'm opening myself up to worldwide scrutiny, basically, some of you guys will notice things and mistakes that I make, and that's okay. I actually want you to do that, so... No big deal. I'm also going to show you an alternate way into the Mercantile Guild that I didn't take. Or a way, an alternate way up into the rooftops, I guess. Right here. No, not here, but uh, further up. Up here. Uh, oh. I'm not sure how long he's stationed there, because I usually don't go down here when he is here. up here that way, not have to go through the Beauregard estate. I have to come back here too, I think we can do that. Strange. Panel up top there, you can see I didn't close it. Now, can we get down here? I didn't know. Hmm. Oh, 
Hopefully we can slide down without getting caught here. Alerts. Okay. Well, I can't hear it from there, so that's not. I still can't hear that. I gotta be a little bit quicker here. That's good. Okay. So that should be a successful screen. Okay. So there we have that. Not going to go through the stats again, but that was a successful Supreme Ghost. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is show you something that I didn't know about. But uh, I think it was Gaki and a few others have pointed this out to me. So I tested it, and yeah, something I wanted to show. Uh, we're now in the Keeper Sanctuary, and uh, I think out here I bought two crates or two explosive barrels. And you can actually get over and down into the library and find something cool. Remember I said that the book on the ledge there you can't read? You can. With New Dark this is easier. <gasps> because you can just mount it up like that. There. This says, impressive, but how are you going to get back on the bridge now? Okay. Well, we can obviously climb down here. Um, there is nothing of interest in this room, just a couple of ladders that can take you pretty high up, but it can't make you find anything. The someone you can hear walking around here is a keeper that I guess is invisible, and he doesn't have any physical body either. But here are two doors. Go in here. Seemingly it's just an empty corridor. However, this wall here is a little farther out and it's a little lighter in color. And you can actually go through this wall. Like so. And climb all the way up here.
get to this room. If you got here, you surely deserve this. Well, here you have one, two explosive charges and a lot of um, mines. I think nine mines. This one here you have to pick. The other ones you can take, but there's one that's armed. There. And... <laughs> I don't think there's anything up here. And if you push this button, boom, we get back to the sewers outside the, <laughs> the bedroom where we enter the Keeper Sanctuary. So you can actually get out of here pretty easily that way. So yeah, just a little Easter egg secret that I didn't know about that I wanted to wanted to track or um, show you. So that being disorientation, let's head on to the real mission for today. So there, Deep Gold, that's the game we're playing because the sound of the burger in the room was made by Skaki in 2018 for the Dark Project Anniversary Contest, the 20th Anniversary Contest, which um, is probably one of the, if not the most successful contest in fan mission history, I would imagine. Some of the earlier contests by Comag was also very successful, but um, in terms of quality, it's, to me, the, the best one. Out of the ones I've played, uh, I haven't played all of them, but um, quite a few of them. So yeah, um, we're going to play an expert, and uh, this is a mission that is very important in the backstory for the Black Parade. We'll talk about that throughout the mission. An associate of mine has learned through his sources that a certain noblewoman in downtown, Lady Blexham, has a little Burrick problem. She heard sounds coming from an unspecified room in her manor and had a team of workers investigate. They apparently uncovered a network of tunnels the beasts had dug. One of the workers reportedly told an innkeeper after a bit too much ale that they also found hammerite crypts, but did not investigate further for fear of getting lost. It so happens that the Soot Chime Church had a tomb underneath it that got disconnected from it about a century ago after an earthquake, and that this tomb reportedly contains the manuscript of a prayer book buried with its author, now considered a saint. This prayer book is widely available now through printed and manuscript copies, but obtaining the original should be very lucrative. Since getting to the tomb through the church hasn't been possible for so long, it appears my way there is through the Burrick Tunnels. My first task is to make my way to Blexham Manor, which lies to the south down the hill. Sootchime District's elevation is pretty steep, but the canals can provide a fast way to get me there as long as I don't get dashed to bits by the waterfalls. This associate of mine has also prepared a cache of equipment I can pick up en route. I have it marked on my map. The workers reinforced the wall with thick, impenetrable steel plates, but the drunk also said that there's probably a weakened wall or two in the manor that I could use to reach the tunnels. I'm not certain the crypts these guys found contain what I'm looking for, so just in case the job turns out to be a dud, I should pick up some things for myself on the way to Blexham Manor. Time to make a living, I guess. Okay, awesome. I forgot there was a briefing there, so sorry if it felt a little bit interrupted when I clicked on it. I expected to come to the objectives. Um, so yeah, made by Skaki, 
However, I think that his... Um, he didn't reveal his actual name, uh, the author name, when he entered the contest. I think it was Son of a Dude or something like that. Um, correct me if I'm wrong there, but I think that was the name, and then it was obviously revealed later on that it was Gaki. Um, this mission can actually be uh, perfect Supreme Ghosted, I believe. I think so. We shouldn't have to skip any loot here, and we shouldn't have to take any Supreme Busts. So, hopefully I can do that without needing to go back and, and redo parts that I, that I mess up on, like, um, for disorientation. So, anyway, an expert, we have to make your way to Blexa Manor and find a way into the Burrick Tunnels below. Find the Hamrite Tombs the worker talk, talked about, and steal the prayer book. An acquaintance of yours proposed you a good price if you can get her Lord Rainsford statuette collection. She is likely to be very grateful if you steal the recently got a commission by dealers in antiquities to steal a foreign scepter that's stashed somewhere in the district. Find it. This job is rather dangerous, and you're not, you're not even sure you're going to find that prayer book down there. Steal at least 2,000 worth of valuables. So all of this isn't for naught. A true professional doesn't leave a mess, don't kill anyone, return to where you came from when you're done. Okay, so basically, the prayer book below Blexa Manor, we know where that is supposed to be. Um, we're supposed to steal Lord Rainford's statuette collection. That place is located on the map. Then the foreign scepter here, we don't know where it is. So we have to find out where it is and then steal it. And then 2,000 worth of valuables. That's pretty much it. Okay. Uh, of course, no need to buy anything. And since it can be Supreme Ghost, that I'm not going to do so. Um, now, this mission um, is... A city mission, obviously, if you haven't played it before, I always say go play it and then come back and watch it. But um, if you're here to stay and you haven't played the mission and are not planning to, then it is a city mission. It is extremely well designed. I think that this is probably uh, one of the best uh, designed missions in terms of uh, guiding the player around the map in a very nice way. Uh, Non-linear, vertical, but not overly vertical. This isn't as vertical as, say, um, Endless Rain, or even Between These Dark Walls, or um, definitely not as vertical as Disorientation, I would say. Um, but it's, it has a Thief's Highway that you can still take around the map, but it's still fairly um, manageable to use the streets. And you can use the canal and actually get up from the canal in many different areas. I'll show you the map once we start here. There, there. Here. So this is, we're in Suchheim Heights, which is a place in the city, um, in the larger Black Parade concept. Um, so this is downtown Suchheim then. And uh, lower Suchheim is in the, the southeast here. Uh, now, this map has sections that are sort of close up in each uh, area. So let's look at the large map. I'm going to use this one to maneuver my way around. You can see most of the areas uh, anyway. We start right here, and actually the first section in the far west is taken from the Thieves' Guild. This is the Overlord's Fancy, which we cannot get into. But Sutter, uh, you know him, he is outside actually waiting for um, uh, for us to come, and I'll mention that once we start. Now, uh, there are a couple of places that are mentioned here. Of course, you have the Hamrite Church in the middle, which is sort of on, a, on an island. Uh, all this blue here is the canal, which I think is implemented excellently in this mission. It sections up the, the map. Uh, you have another island here uh, with Rowe Street and Rayholm Street, I believe it is. Yeah, rain home. Okay. I'm going to keep to this one. So there's an island here as well. That's actually one of the last places we'll go to. But then there is a very natural sort of loop around the whole uh, manor. Um, where you have uh, Lidecker Avenue, which is a long street with a couple of bridges that goes all the way over here. You have Coughlin Estate, which you cannot get into. You have the Bailiff's Estate, where you can go into. There's a lot of buildings you can get into here. Uh, Rainsford, I think this is misspelled here. I think it's in the objective. It says Rainsford, but here it's Rainsford. 
So I don't think this is the correct way. It doesn't look like that would be correct. This is a manner where we will get one of our objectives. So uh, that we got have to hit. There's an old baronial stronghold that you cannot get into. Chansey and Co. is a warehouse. Um, with the vault, we can get one of the objectives there. Uh, there's an inn here that we cannot enter. Church Way goes along the south. Duke Leonard's Palace, we can only get to the balcony. And Blexer Manor, of course, is one of the main objectives. Um, we can find the Berg Tunnels there. And um, that's one of the first places we're going to hit. Now, we do need one item from one of the stores on uh, Leidecker Avenue that we will need in order to access the um, objective in the vault at Chansey. So I'm going to go up there and grab that item first, and then we're going to head down to Blexham Manor. Okay, there's a pub here that you can't access, but there's a lot of buildings you can get into. So that's kind of cool. Now here we have Sutter. Um, the readable there I'm not going to worry about. It just says that uh, deliveries can be made to the back entrance. Now, something I do want to say that I didn't know until I watched Marble Man's video. Um, I watched the first five minutes as soon as he made this video, um, which was quite a while ago. I had played the mission at that point, but I hadn't ghosted it, so I didn't want to watch too much. I watched five minutes, and I realized that if you trigger his audio cue here, um, which I will do just now, just so you can hear it. Um. Password? Taffer. Security is necessary to pre... Hold on a second. Hmm. We're looking for a person just like you. Annoyingly cocky and in dull attire. Wait. By the trickster's taffin' hooves, you're Garrett, aren't you? Hold it right there. You're gonna pay for beating us to our score last time. <clears throat> he will see us and go after us then. So if you trigger even the slightest bit of that audio cue from him, then um, at least three other thieves around the map will spawn. Uh, they will spawn in locations that won't make it impossible for us to ghost the mission or supreme the mission, but it'll make it more difficult. So I'm not going to trigger that. So we're just going to run through here quickly. Password? Oh, he got that one. Okay. that worked. As long as we don't say Taffer, then I think that that's not triggered. So yeah, those three we don't want to trigger. So we can recognize this area from uh, the Thieves' Guild. Now we can actually go into the Astrologers, which we will do first. To pick the lock on that door, I'm going to try to minimize lock picks, of course. Here's a healing potion. Books we can't read. Box of... Uh, Gold coins worth 25. And up here in this one, you can find two water arrows, and there is a carrot on the table. Don't know if you can wake her up at all. There we go. Tomorrow on the first aft bell. Messer Harrington Auctioneer will sell this fine warehouse at the auction house on 384 Rose Street. Inquire in person or by messenger. Time wasters won't be tolerated. Okay. So we're going to head in here first, and we're actually going to go this way. Okay, we need to take his purse. Right there. Draw your sword and stand, or draw an arrow and stand, and if you're completely dark still, it probably is a perfect shadow if you move the weapon <laughs> the crouch. Okay, that's worth 12, total 37. Alright. Why do controllers in the streets here? The look 
look around. Head in here. So we have now gone this way and we're in the far west. Here's a grocery store that we're gonna pick the lock on. Tuller Wall Gate. Or we did not get spotted there. And here's a purse. It's worth 40, totally 77. And in here you have four apples, five cucumbers, and three carrots. Now, up here we can find something hidden. Actually, we'll do that. Some kind of a living room. A vase worth 100. And over here, two stacks of copper coins, total 237. Then there's a letter. I can't believe this. My lackwood servant, Archibald, came to me a week ago and told me he couldn't work that day because he caught the pan flu. That was the first time I'd heard of that, but the next day I learned that my courier didn't show up because he got the pan flu too. I went to see a physician to inquire about this mysterious affliction that seems to target every every pleb in this rotten city, and he had never heard of it before. I'm telling you, those lowlifes have found a new way to slack off instead of working to satisfy our needs. I had both of those good for nothing slashed 30 times, and I advise you to do the same should your staff suddenly fall with, ill with this strange disease. By the way, don't forget to bring your best harp to the party at Duke Leonard's tonight. Best regards, my friend, Ernest L. Randall. Right. <clears throat> so here's a harp. And another harp. We can leave through the window here. And watch out for patrollers. So this is a vertical mission, don't get me wrong, but I don't feel it's as vertical as some of the other ones. Maybe I'm wrong there, I'm not sure. <sighs> <laughs> we go up here. We can actually find a thief's uh, hideout, I guess. And there are a um, rope arrow and a water arrow in the bucket and another readable here that we can go ahead and take a look at. Fat Chafferly threw a hissy fit because of Webster's bastard boy's rabble rousing of the Faber Friars plebs, inciting them to break stuff and punch a few Aristos in the gut. Webster is a coward who uses dirty tactics, but I have to admit it worked this time. I guess he still isn't over the loss of Stone Market and Lower Locks last year. Monsiger is too new for him, so he has to do what he does best, attack me. Good thing I know how to hit Webster where it hurts too. In the meantime, this situation means that you all have to be careful when you go out at night in downtown from now on. Most of the watchdogs are on my payroll, but let's not rule out the possibility that Shafferly can make an example out of anyone that gets caught at night. This includes you all now. Be smart, lay low, and try to stay where you are for now while I devise a plan. Webster's been quiet for a while, but it looks like we're back at it, men. R. I assume that's Ramirez. So it's a letter from him to um, his boys. It mentions Monsiger, it mentions Webster, which I believe both are other wardens. Ramirez definitely is one. Uh, Monsiger is a new one then, and Webster, I believe, is a warden as well. Webster, at least, was mentioned in a readable in Assassins, I think. Uh, Monster Girl, I don't think was mentioned in Thief Gold. Was he? I don't believe so. I think he was, obviously, he's an Endless Reign, but I think he was introduced there. Correct me if I'm wrong again. There might be some wrong statements from me today, but... There's so much lore to keep track of, but... This is an important mission, so they're probably going to keep to... some of them. 
information from this one should be consistent. Here's a Marcero, by the way. Let's drop here. Do that. Here. And here. This is the butchers. Can't pick the lock on this door. Let's see. Save here. This is Chapman's Court, this area. There's a readable, though. A complaint in the window. Butcher, enough. I cannot hear my harps anymore with all that noise coming from your shoddy establishment. How can I tune them if all I hear are loud bangs that make my wall shake? What on earth are you even doing down there that could make such a racket? If you do not comply, I shall have to contact the authorities, Lula and Clarell. That is a hint to something's going on at the butchers. This guy does not alert to us. Safe here. Yeah, we are. Good. So we are now going to head east. Main uh, objective now is to get to the shops in this area because there's an item we need there. Now, there are readables that tell you that you need that item. So it's a little bit artificial for me to head over there now, story wise. But if you go there, you're probably going to pick up the item if you find it. Why would you not, so to speak? So we're going to head over there now. And there are patches of shade, as you can see, along the walls here. You can stay fairly hidden. staring down yeah the street that goes south here That is a, um, is that Mr. Bailiff, maybe? There, safe here for some reason. So, there is a guy that carries the Bailiff house has a massive patrol route. I believe he actually patrols all the way around the entire map. So he's coming up from the east now. Uh, we're not going to need his key because we can get into his place a different way and there's a key inside. But he comes here. Uh, I think that's the bailiff's main guard. His bodyguard or something like that. And a bailiff, of course, is kind of like a judge. That's a pickpocket if you're looking for all the pickpockets. Um, could this be Mr. the bailiff himself? Or, oh, it's probably his guard. Another guard coming up there. I don't think he comes all the way up. 
This guard will come over, so we're going to have to wait here. There are three establishments here. There's the armorer on that side. Fishmonger here, which we can't get into from the outside. archer is so far away. There's an archer that stays only in that plaza right there, around the well. mission by the way so be prepared for that you can probably see the time right now but yeah to perfect supreme ghost this mission it's difficult or it's long um, stack of copper coins worth five total to 42 oh you know what i forgot something i'm gonna have to go get that a little bit later then i forgot some coins up in the thief's uh room but we're gonna go back pretty close to that area not too long here so i'll take that then Here's a stack of silver coins uh, worth 12, total 264. Two fire arrows and two mines. There's one up here as well. And the armor is nothing else we can do in here right now. Blacksmith, I believe, here. I believe it's a blacksmith. There's a stack of gold coins there as well, total 279. There's a couple of water arrows here, a cauldron with molten lava, and then this is the item we need. It's a small gear, so that we need to operate the vault mechanism in uh, Chansey and Co. Okay, we're gonna head up here. I think we'll leave it there. Come back. And that is a secret passage into the fishmongers. You can pick this door open and then you can flip the lever there in order to in order to um, open the door. Or the gate on the outside, rather. This is empty. Should be a hint that there's something else in here. There's a gas mine here, be careful armed. There's a lever under the uh, chair. Let's reveal something. Down below, a keeper study. Interesting. So here you can find a flash bomb, a healing potion, a gold candlestick, total 329, and a keeper journal. 
Day 196 of my observations by Keeper Jeremiah. I truly am starting to wonder if my assignment to keeping watch over Suchheim Heights is a punishment or a cruel joke from the elders. Surely they did not take umbrage at my treatise on the lesser sentience, including the one supposedly still rotting in our ruined sanctuary below Fidgewicks? My skills would be better spent in First Keeper's Watch, where I could study the glyphs in peace. Trying to keep face and pass as a fishmonger becomes harder every day. Not only can't I stand that foul odor, but the downtown clientele is downright rude. They also keep inquiring about the statue in the shop. Of course, this is going to look suspicious. Sometimes I wonder if my peers have a brain. Wouldn't uh, have it been easier to enchant a few statues so we could see through their eyes? This decadent quarter is full of them. In case you're reading this and wonder what my actual observations were on that day, know that I did not see anything out of the ordinary at all. Another day less. Tomorrow will be the same. All right, so a keeper that's not happy. What else is new? <laughs> There's one thing the keepers are lacking. It's a sense of humor, I think. Always so grumpy. Close this back up. We're not going to lead this way because I don't want to pick the lock on that door. <laughs> Now we're going to head back. I'm not going to continue this way. Let's see. I'm going to show you a couple of things first, though. Let's see. I'm not going to actually go up there and show this to you, but... I'm going to tell you where it is. On a windowsill, you can see those two lit up windows up there, right in the middle above the light gem, right there. The lower one has a gas mine. And... This windowsill right above the light gem right now has five broadhead arrows. What I want you guys to do... Hey! Someone there! <coughs> ah! What I want you guys to do, and this is my ghost challenge actually for this mission. Um, I want you guys to, without getting spotted by anybody down here, go up there um, with one rope arrow. Uh, get the gas mine, get those broadhead arrows, and get back down without using any equipment besides the one rope arrow to get up. But you have to retrieve the arrow, of course. So do that, without getting spotted, and without taking damage, of course, supreme clean and all that. Now, if we had triggered the audio cue from Sutter, there would have been a thief here. Right? I'm pretty sure there would be a thief in here. Or maybe it's down in the sewers. I can't remember. But there's one in this area here. I'm going to show you this place. So we're now uh, the just north of the well on Lighterker Avenue. And you see there's um, an equipment cache in sewers. So that's the entrance that we're going into right now. We're not going to go here because there's no loot. I don't want to pick the lock. We can take a look here. Some boxes we can move out of the way. A lot of boxes. Uh, here's a readable, and uh, overall there's a healing potion, a moss arrow, two water arrows, a flash bomb, a rope arrow, uh, and the message then, that we're gonna read. Hey G, got your equipment as you requested. Looks like Rainsford's guards uh, are a tad twitchy tonight. Observe them from the old baronial stronghold, and sure enough, I think something's up. I thought you might appreciate the heads up. 
Okay, that is valuable information, actually. We'll see that later. Here is... A little sewer section. That takes you out to another pickable door that actually leads to the canal. This is an area you can climb up if you are in the canal. And I believe that is right here. I think so. So this is the location where you can get up there and then enter the sewers and come out here. So the canal actually can access a lot of areas around the map. It makes it a lot more non-linear for those that choose to, to use the waterway. difficult because you have to look every direction here not to get spotted. Make a real save first. <coughs> Alright, I think I shot the rope a little bit too close. Right wall, maybe. <laughs> okay, let's move around here a little bit. Now that guy can't see us or can't alert us. Let's not be too worried about him. Up here you have a bottle of wine and a gold goblet. Getting over here can actually be a little bit tricky. <laughs> we have to wait for that guard. I don't think their vertical vision is this good. Four, that's correct, except for the ten that I missed back at the thief. I'll go back and get those. Moss arrow, a flash bomb, and a stack of silver coins. Now, this is very tricky because, or clever, rather, because um, this attic, you would only think there's one piece of loot when you look around. There's actually an extremely well-hidden silver nugget back here. Total 466, that's worth 50. here, but can run and then jump in a mantle. Up here, pay your tribute. So two explosive devices and then four fire arrows. Over here is a table with a couple of loaves of bread and it seems like people are playing some cards and having a good time. Down here. Is 
that guard gonna come up here maybe? I think that's the guy that comes up here and stations himself on the bridge there. In which case we're gonna have to just wait for him to be done. This mission reminds me of Calendra Cistern, especially with the music right here. Obviously, it's New Dark, a lot more detailed. That's that's what New Dark enables authors to do, is to make not only big missions, but big missions with a lot of interior and a lot of detail. You could only ever do one out of two, either detail in a small map or lack of detail in a large map. That's why missions like uh, Disorientation or... Uh, Calendar's legacy are so unique and important historically because they showed that you actually could make large detailed missions even in Old Ark. They were difficult to do, but you could. Let me see if I can actually do this. I'm not sure if we can sneak out of here with that good. Yeah, no, we can't. We've just hit a bad patch in the patrol here. Where these two guards are sort of fighting over catching us. It's okay. I was meant to go right over here now, but since we forgot that. Yeah. One of the trickier areas here. <coughs> Sometimes a little bit misleading because you can't always look at the shadow on the ground. It's where your head or your, your torso is. That's what detects how bright or dark you are.
Sucks that I have to do this detour. I just forgot about that loot behind the bed there. Ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some players, or some viewers rather, recently have said that they find my videos relaxing, and uh, that I take as a compliment because I, I want to convey the atmosphere that Thief has, which is um, tense but soothing still. And. Um, What is going on here? <laughs> and that is something that I want to convey with these videos. I don't want to talk too much. But if my narration too is <laughs> is comfortable to listen to, then I take that as a big compliment as well. So thank you. Um Two stacks of copper coins, total 476. That's what we should have now. Now, we are going to uh, actually head into the Stonecutter's place via a little ledge. <sighs> right here. Don't think we will get spotted here. Here there's a dagger uh, worth 50 total, 526. There's nothing else down here except for the access into the stone cutter's actual shop. And this can be tough, this next area here. <coughs> make a real save. Stone cutter's up there, and he does not move much. Easier than I thought. So he has a key. Do not need the key. Take his three statues. What is this? A okay. We don't have time then. He has a stone cutter's key that'll open the door to his establishment. Actually. <laughs> Let me grab it and I can show you something here. This is uh, Cogwheel, Cogwheel Street. That's this street right here. It's a very short one. And um, the entrance to the stonemason or stonecutters here. And a readable. 
as proclaimed by the Honorable Cornelius Everett Shafferly, Lord Mayor of Downtown. Let it be known that in the wake of the recent events of unrest and acceptable unacceptable degradations, wandering the streets of downtown after sunset and before sunrise with a concealed face is strictly forbidden. Any man, woman, or child caught thusly shall be thrown into the uh, the, ga- uh, the jails. I think this is actually the original way that jail was spelt. Um, I, I looked it up, and yeah, this is pronounced, or it's the same word that we have now for jail. For three days and pay a fine of 50 crowns. Recidivists shall be thrown into the jails for a month and shall be put to the pillory at the end of their conviction, in addition to receiving a hefty fine of 400 crowns. If the fine cannot be paid, officials shall seize the offender's goods and property for an equivalent sum. If the goods and property are lower than the sum of the fine, the offender shall be sent to a workhouse or to a debtor's prison, uh, depending on the offense. Burgomaster and alderman have been advised and will follow the law to the letter. Any policeman is allowed to, t- to ask for identification during the night and shall act according to law. From the office of the Most Honorable C.E. Shafferly, Lord Mayor of Downtown. Cool. R.J.R. Corbett, Fraser, appointment only. This is a pickable gate. We don't need to pick it because we can do something else to get out of here. We need to loot in here first. <coughs> Good. That's good. That's a good uh, direction. So healing potion and a water arrow here as well. <coughs> if you want to. Now we have to get up into the appraiser's house through these windows. That can be tough. <coughs> this is pretty perfect. <coughs> and we don't want to make noise there. That's the problem. that noise. So what do we have to do here? What do we have to do here? Can't do that either. We have to get over to the other window somehow. We have to be able to jump here. It's tough, but it's not impossible. No way. I don't know why I can't jump there, but I should be able to. Let me save it there. Yeah, I can't have that clunk, because he will... He won't alert when he is still like that, but he will see me. Or hear me. What was that? fast enough. Yeah, I can't have that clunk. Okay. <gasps> Is it uh, straight enough there? Man, this is taking much more time than I thought. <coughs> Who's that? Maybe I can't do this. I'm not sure. Go up on the window then. Wait. That's good. Didn't make any noise there. Perfect. Awesome. We have to hide in here. Grab this vase first. Worth 50. Total 621. Okay. I think that warrants a real save, don't you think? So 
let's read <clears throat> here. There's uh, a ledger. Uh, Pluvier. So hooded lantern, 35 gold. Oil flasks times two. Tinder boxes times eight. I'm not going to read the prices. Iron mask. Uh, manacles. Iron chain. Jester. Guards. Wages. Total 451 gold pennies or uh, gold coins. Okay, so the appraiser, Corbett is his name, he does come up. He just come up here from time to time, at least I think so. Can't go up here. Uh, I don't think he comes all the way here though. This is Corbett's house key and I'm going to take that because it's actually fairly difficult uh, or near impossible to get back out through the window we came. We're going to have to return this key pretty soon. This is a pickable footlocker with loot. Should be a purse in there. Yeah, worth 75, total 696. And then there is actually a very well hidden and camouflaged plate on the wall. First time I didn't see it because it blended in with the other patterns here. Total 746. out so we've now jumped over the canal into this building there's no other way to get into this building here except for jumping over from that and in here you have a flash bomb and we have a readable you remember that fishmonger my wife never stopped talking about seems like it's not just gossip this time i went there earlier today to get my hands on a couple of salted crab bits and builder bless me i've never seen a shop this austere in my life it was as if i was back at crags cleft Try to lighten the mood a bit. I say, hey there, good man. How's th what's today's catch? Everyone knows fishmongers love to talk about their stinky trade. And he says with the bloodiest, snappiest voice there is that he's out of stock, even though the entire shop was filled to the brim with fish. I'm sure of it. Something's up down there. I'm almost certain that little something doesn't bear Ramirez's mark. Be a good lad and try to dig up something in the neighborhood. There has to be someone who knows something. In the event you don't find anything, We'll be going back there with cudgels to smash a bit of his stuff and make it clear to him that if he wants to continue his trade, he'll have to pay us tribute. Be discreet and not a taffing word to Ramirez or his leg breakers. No way is that swindler getting fat on our cash. Well, we've already visited the fishmonger and we know that he is actually a keeper. Okay, let's see. In this one, I think there are, uh, there's a rope barrow. This is uh, pickable, so we don't need to pick that. <laughs> if we jump up here, there are two stacks of silver coins and one stack of copper coins on the on the ledge there, and that is 775 loot total. I have to jump back. <laughs> This guy came up. Maybe he doesn't then. I was pretty sure he did. You know what? The exact same mm -hmm. same thing as this happened last time I played the mission. Mm -hmm. He was stuck in exactly the same spot. He doesn't hear the door. He shouldn't see us here. But exactly the same thing happened. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, I thought that those kind of mistakes were just like random. Didn't expect it again, but anyway, here's a loaf. And we can loot his place pretty freely here. There should be a goblin in here in the sink in this kitchen. A couple of deer legs here. Cheeses, loaf, cucumbers, stuff like that. And then up on here, there's another goblin. It's total 805. That should be everything. through this door here, so I want to lock, lock the door. <laughs> and return the key right away. We don't not need to get back in here later. Moss arrow in one of the. Come on. In one of the planters here. So there's an archer that's pretty. Alert. There's a guard that patrols the courtyard, you can see him there. He goes back and forth, so we don't have enough time here. This contest was the Scarlet Cascable, right? A two mission by two mission campaign by Pukey Brunster and um, Tanner, um, and I think this mission came in second, if I remember correctly. This one and Lost Among the Forsaken came in second and third, I think. Um, so. <coughs> I haven't played the Scarlet Cascable, so I, I'm planning on doing that. Not right now, but I am going to, of course. There are so many good missions from that contest. <sighs> okay, I should be able to... can jump onto that balcony, but it's difficult. So yeah, there's a moss arrow in one of those planters. I can't remember which one, but there's one. So we're now going to start to move our way southeast uh, with the goal of ending up at Blexham Manor. <coughs>
coin stacks here. Two silver and one copper coin stack. Um, I'm not sure if we're safe here. <coughs> She tried to close the door, but I blocked it, so... <clears throat> okay. Uh, in here we have a gold candlestick. This we can't take. We can't climb up there, and this door that only leads to the canal. Let's read this. Magistrate Gilby, I am at my wit's end. Would you please prosecute the scoundrel Alistair Dunch, who once again urinated on my doorstep? Is this too much to ask of a magistrate? His behavior is wholly unacceptable, and I have written to you many times about it already. Surely, as a downtown magistrate, it is in your power to act on Whitebridge, and prosecuting this miscreant should be more interesting than settling petty inheritance squabbles. I also did some searching, as you so nicely told me to, and it is clear as day that Whitebridge is a district of downtown. If the official papers say so, then it must be true. <clears throat> I hope you will take your job seriously this time. William H. Peck, Sommelier. Sommelier, which means a wine connoisseur. Um, and we'll actually loot his place a little bit later. So I want to get out of here before she comes back up. Alrighty. Let's see. <sighs> so now we are looking south. So down there you can see a bridge and a pub. So we are now staring from this building, from the balcony of uh, balcony of this building, actually, down southeast to the pub area. So we are now right above Rain Rainholm Street. Uh, that links in with Row Street. Right here. I meant to jump. Here we got to be a little bit careful. There's an archer in the distance that's very weary. There's another archer that comes out. This is Blexham Manor you see in the background there. So this can actually, we can actually get caught up here without sort of hearing it. Okay. So we have 884, that's correct. I'm going to get a piece of loot up here. First, however, I'm going to jump up here. Show sure you guys something. First of all, you can see a wonderful, beautiful cityscape. Look at that. down here and pick up a papyrus. What are you doing up here? So I'll throw back to Milan's hidden messages up on high places. We are not needing to read that though. Instead we are just taking a tiara off of this <coughs> statue right here. That guard down there does not alert us. It's just the front guard. Let's see. Yeah, if you do that... Oh, no, no, no. This guard will see us. Let's try to be a little bit quicker with this. That was not what I meant to do. there. I gotta wait for him to go out and go back because he will alert. The other, there's another archer there too, so I don't want to risk them actually seeing me without us hearing it. So now they're both out there, so they, they will go back. But yeah, the front door guard to Blexum, he will, he will just say that we're not wanted here if you get close to him. Go away, please. So that's not an alert, that's a scripted remark. There, now we have an opportunity.
Okay, now he's on the other side. I don't think he saw us there. There's no way he alerted to us at that distance. Because it's in his peripheral vision, too. I don't think we have to worry about that. Put that other guard there, I can't. I can't be sure of. I don't know, from Milan's missions, I've just become very sensitive to archers. Are so vigilant. Man, oh, what happened there? I couldn't get a foothold for some reason. I didn't want to save either. The TR was worth 75, we should have 959 now. So this is Blexa Manor. We're staring at it from the north. Now there's a pipe here that can take you over to that building through that door. I'm going to access that later on from the other side uh, because it's very lit up there and you can get spotted pretty easily. I was thinking this archer would come back, so we'll wait for him. Blexa Manor is, is pretty tough, but it, it's not going to be an issue. <laughs> Pretty much everybody is patrolling. There's very few stationary guards, so patrollers you can always dodge. As long as their patrol route isn't too small or short. Now the guard down below here, by the front gate, you can't see him right here, but he's there. He has a key. He has the front door key. Very difficult to pick that from the front, so we're not going to worry about it. Archer and you have that woman here. I'm not sure if I'm safe here, to be honest with you. What's there? Seems quiet enough now. Oh well. No way we can be safe here. I mean, I, I'm just testing it, but. <laughs> yeah, no, we're definitely not safe there. Huh? Hello? Is someone there? Saw me 
without saying anything because you were stationary. Okay, that's the way we're gonna have to do it. It's gonna be difficult to get through this space if we don't do it that way. Hello? <laughs> Get over here. We're good. Okay. A bottle of wine and a goblet here. A loaf and a readable. Letter from Toll Camerick and Sons. Dear Lady Blexum, the reinforced steel plates have been duly installed in your pantry. The Burrocks must probably smell the fresh meat in the tunnel to reach it. Rest assured that they will not be able to make their way through them. It is, however, also important that we conduct a thorough inspection of your estate. Burrocks are known to give up easily, are not known to give up easily, and they will eventually dig through everything that isn't bedrock or metal. Do you agree on the 25th of uh, Pampanonus, Pampanosus as the date of our next inspection? Told Cameron and Sons. That sounds like a good day for an inspection, doesn't it? Passageway behind a bookcase. And in here, there's a silver nugget, a uh, stack of gold coins, stack of silver coins. And then some kind of um, play. I'm not going to read this because it's just a um, screenplay of some sort. It doesn't have any. Reference, I think, to anything in particular. Seems like an opera. But you can read it if you want to. Close that up. And then these, we can't read these, I think, but we can read that. Unsent letter. Mirabella. I wasn't going mad. I knew these were Burrick sounds I was hearing down the pantry. My dear departed Edward once brought me to hunt in the countryside, and we encountered one of these animals. I was so scared never forgot the sound they make. And then I heard it again when I was in the pantry, all those years later. Faint, but clearly audible. I was so afraid. I swiftly wrote Toll Camerick and Sons, and they arrived the next day. The southern wall of my pantry was almost ready to collapse, and the beast would have invaded my manor had I not heard these noises, um, the noises and wrote them. They broke the wall down and sent a group of workers to see how far the tunnels extended. They came back a few hours later and said that they had to end their investigation because the tunnels just went on and on, and they were afraid of getting lost down there. They said the barracks were probably scared off for now, and also said something about some hammerite crypt, but I was too scared to have this gaping hole in my pantry a second longer, descending into the uncharted depths of the earth. They had their workers install reinforced steel plates. They were incredibly expensive, but I'm far better safe than sorry. That being said, their, the le their letter I received this morning is not reassuring. They are telling me it's possible the barracks will try to come back through another way so they have con to conduct another inspection to see if there are any more weak walls. This is going to ruin me if they have to install more of these steel plates. I already sold my late husband's sword collection, so I don't have much to auction off anymore. It is not my custom to beg, and I know we are estranged, but surely you can help your sister? Is 
a book, Hunting of the Common Burke by Captain Rufus T. Spaulding. So this is a continuation, right, of the writings that we read in uh, Masks, I think, not long ago, actually. The bane of grease hands, the nightmare of housemasters. The common burke is quite the foul beast, but is relatively harmless compared to its cousin, the spotted burke, found in the southern lands of Syric. You'd be wrong, dear hunter, to think that the common burke is completely incapable of fighting back, for this filthy creature spawned from the trickster's hairy bottom <laughs> can be quite lethal. Let me just sip some delicious tea. Where was I? Ah, yes. The best way to lure this odious critter is to use fresh meat, for these uh, fiends are addicted to the scent. I have found deer meat to be the most effective. In my last hunt, I had made a lure with about eight or so legs from a few unfortunate deer that had the bad idea to come across me. When will animals learn that you shouldn't meet me face to face? Anyway, I made the lure, placed it in a clearing, and decided to wait while seated drinking my morning tea and eating the best biscuits you can get from the city. On that note, if you ever want to become a real man, you should definitely eat Oliver de Huynh's biscuits, or Ben's biscuits. His establishment is in Stone Market. Try them, you won't regret it. As I was about to finish my second cup of tea, because I am a man like this, I heard a loud rumble. The kind of rumble that makes women run away scared like these the wusses they are, but just made me pour another cup of tea. And here they were, four burks freshly spawned from the depths of the earth, looking for meat. My crossbow was already aimed at their heads, and one bolt went straight between the eyes of one of them. What a spectacle! The other three didn't have time to belch their horrible gastric clouds as they were already dead, for Captain Rufus T. Spaulding is the best hunter there is, and Burks are weak creatures. And then I went back to my chair, finished that cup of tea I poured when the beast appeared, and ate all the deer legs that they didn't have time to touch. One very productive day. Is someone there? Ah! In tr so I hope she isn't stuck in there now. It's impossible to... Is someone ah! Okay, she was on her way out. That's good. That means that we are we just wait for her. I'm not sure if I'm safe here. So I, out the window there is just down to the courtyard on the um, east side and across to the balcony where we saw one of the archers earlier. Actually, this archer, I believe. That's the guy that goes out on that balcony. Okay, so we have to orient ourselves a little bit here. <laughs> Eleven eighty, that's what we should have now. Here's a healing potion. There's a piece of loot in there that we want to do. We'll take.
Who's... That's the archer coming back. Yeah. Need to wait for him. We kind of want... We want to follow him. That is my goal here. <laughs> That there. I don't know where he is. I can't hear it. Don't really. Okay. This is a This is another way you can get into the middle floor from the courtyard. This is a very abstract layout. I love this mansion. This is probably my favorite place in the mission actually. Uh, right here. I love the layout. It's just very surreal. Know, very very unstructured layout of the building, but that makes it really interesting and really different. I think there's a guy down here now, isn't there? It's the bottom floor right here. There he is. Okay. The only thing I need down here is a piece of loot. A gold goblet. Total 1305. Okay. actually think that actually, yeah no I actually think I'm gonna pick up here because the area up Drop down here. This is the main entrance right here. There's a guard up there. There's a guard that comes down here. He'll see me. <laughs> Hello? Is someone there? It's weird because I, th I thought that when you're in a perfect shadow that they can't... Let's instead then go through here. Can 
get in here through that open window. That's what I was trying to do earlier, but I was a little bit lucky in the patrol there. Good. Okay. This purple vase we want to take. Total 1355. Mm, here's another readable. It's the newspaper, the City Tribune. <coughs> uh, May 19th, 833. The City Tribune would like to apologize for last week's article concerning the unfounded rumors about the circle of builders. Indeed, this article penned by a contributor with no longer who no longer who no longer works for this prestigious paper spread rumors about a sinister group of architects conspiring to take down the baronial government. These rumors were proven to be false, and there never was such a conspiracy. The City Tribune would like their faithful readers to know that articles shall from now on be put under stricter scrutiny so that such shameful incidents do not happen again in the future. J.A. Mulder, Editor-in-Chief. Okay. We are actually going to head up here. <laughs> All right, so I'm not safe here for sure. That's where we were earlier. This is where we dropped down earlier from above. Remember that? Hello? Show yourself. Can I go in? Yeah, this is where I need to be, right here. <laughs> right here. Up here is a Gold candlestick, total 1405. Here's a nice bath. I love the bubbles here and the steam. Um, I think that's supposed to be a sponge over there, a bath sponge. So I guess it's a little part of a moss arrow. That graphic that has been used for that, very clever. I haven't seen that before. And remember, this is a stock resource mission only. locker with a moss arrow in it, I think. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you this area. This is not an area we need to go to at all. Here's an archer that is stationary, and he protects the, um, <coughs> the uh, main gate control panel. Instead, and this is a uh, storage room. A single stack of copper coins, total 1410. Head down to the dining hall. Goblet and a plate, total 1475. Maybe a servant here that'll come up. Yes, there is. I don't know if we're safe, I think. Maybe we are. Yeah, we are. That's actually pretty good. Now, this door is pickable. I'm just going to show you this. We don't need to do this at all. Takes you to a side entrance here, 
And you can see the pipes from earlier, so that is actually right. Let's see, where's that? Ah, uh, Plexon Manor, so we... That would be right here, wouldn't it? Yep. The pipes that cross the street is right up here, so you can access this. There's a little uh, ladder here. You have to come from that direction, from the west, to do that. Or you can drop down from above, wherever you want to do But I don't want to pick the lock here. I'm not interested in that. It's a cheese. Mouse trap, I guess. Okay. So here's a bunch of uh, deer legs. These are all the steel plates that Toll Camera and Sons have installed. This door leads to the same place. Okay, in here, you can hear barracks. We have a bottle of wine, two goblets, total 1555. We have two cheeses, two loaves, we have two cucumbers, four apples, and a deer leg in here, and there's a healing potion over here. Okay. Now, this is then the way into the brake tunnels. If you push on this, this is the part that is loose. Like that. Now, that is not uh, property damage. We have deemed that not property damage. Okay? Because you're not actually damaging the wall. The wall is already damaged, and you're not breaking it into pieces. It looks like I'm on the right track. You are just pushing it. Just like opening a door almost. You're pushing it. You can't close the door. But the door can... The piece here can be put back by somebody easily. So you haven't broken anything that wasn't already damaged or weakened. So now we are in the Burrick Tunnels. So now we are below Blacksome Manor. So that warrants a real save. I don't think there's any Burricks that can actually come up here and see you from here. Hey, what's going on? Ah, oh, help me! Okay. So that's not good. I didn't actually know that that happened, to be honest with you. Um. Um, that is a scripted response, though, from the servant. That's pretty clear. That's something that... Um, it's not a normal thing for somebody to faint uh, from that way. Hey, what's going on? Oh! Mm. Yeah. That's a scripted response to what we've done here. And what we've done is, is obviously not... Pro it's not property damage. And that's a script, so I think that is okay. We haven't dealt this guy any damage or anything like that. Um, the fact that the Burrick hears this, the Burrick hears the servant. He doesn't hear us, so that's not an alert either. So, yeah, this should be good here. We haven't done anything. I mean, he saw the door being open, but that's, again, a script. because he doesn't alert to other doors, so. Okay. Let's real save on top of that. It looks like I'm on the right track. So in the Burrick tunnels, there are not that many Burricks. I think there's only three or four. And the one here shouldn't come around the corner. <laughs> He stops, I think, and then goes back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what he does. Yeah. There's another one down here, though, that comes up and then goes all the way back down, so... I'm not sure exactly where he turns. There. So 
we can follow him down. There's, there are two main caves down here. And from the second cave, there are two exits besides this entry right here. See, this section we're safe in. If he comes back. There's the other one. That guy should go to the right, yeah. That he saw. We can scoot right here. So there's the other one. There might be a piece of loot up there, too. I think there is. Yeah. Silver nugget right here. Total 1605. Goes back. The other... Burek has a loop. He goes into that cave where we're going to go right now. Let's see. And then there's this third one. A little bit unfortunate right now that we hit his patrol pretty badly. here. You can actually climb up here. <laughs> Take this silver nugget. Second silver nugget there, 1655. Perks in general are, are pretty easy to recognize the alerts and they don't see too far. <clears throat> like normal guards, I guess. So we're going to head up here now. And this is actually the entrance to the butchers. So we have now traveled all the way from Lexa Manor all the way over to the butchers, which is right here. So we've sort of, sort of gone north, and then we went northwest. The other exit from the caves is the Hamrite Church. So we have to go back here um, to the caves, and then up again, and exit in the church. Now here there are a couple mines, and since this is a Thief 1 mission, you cannot disarm those mines. Hidden on the left side, you should be good here. Okay. So, we read that there were some infernal noises and banging from this door, and um, that's because he's been blowing up the wall here to access the barracks. <clears throat> Here's the fire arrow. This door we actually have to pick. is home. He comes down occasionally. Uh, here are three deer legs, and then there is some loot under the counter that we have to take. But we also do need this key. That works both on this door, but it also works on this door here, so we have to relock that and then drop his key back. 
take this stack of silver oh, coins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's there? Okay. <clears throat> Who's the Staircase. Mm. I remember this staircase from my playtesting. It was very difficult to sneak up it. Let's get his key here, butcher's key. And in this corner, we should be safe. Stops at a couple of points. Three times, okay. He, he can stay a long time up here. But there's a window there, so you, I don't think you can sneak <laughs> up here while he's in his room. You have to follow him. Or at least that's a lot easier. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to take those. I, there is a <coughs> here, I thought that was there. So there are ten broadheads. In this crate there are two mines. And there is a pretty well hidden purse here. Total sixteen ninety nine and a readable. You asked why my secret was what? With fresh burrick and all that taff. Would you believe me when I said that one of them carved a hole in my shop not a month ago? Since then I don't even have to pay for hunters no more. I can just go into their tunnels and hunt them myself. Better not tell anyone else about this, or I'll feed you to the burricks, so they get all fat and good for eating. Okay. So I do think we have to um, wait here again for him to come up. We have to go down there and then just <laughs> lock the door behind us, but drop the key on his route too. other direction in the Burra Caves, and that will take us to the the Hammerite tomb or crypt that was mentioned in one of the readables, in Lady Blexham's readable. And in that crypt, we can find the entrance to the Hammerite church, but that's only from one direction. You cannot... get down into the crypt from the Hemi Church. At least I haven't found any switch for that. So if you can, please let me know, but I only, I think that's only a one way. I think that's a one way path. So that's in here. There's nothing else to pick up in the bird caves. So the bird caves are, is a little bit simple. I think that probably the mission hits the limits. But I kind of wish that that had been a little bit bigger, maybe. Or have a few more things in it. But it's okay. It serves a purpose. Okay, so the crypt has two haunts. 
It's not too difficult if you know how to deal with it. So there's a green vase here. there. I think that haunt goes down there. There's a sleeping zombie in the next one. And then there was that gold vase. Total 1849. this haunt here. Be a little bit careful here. If we sneak in here, we're actually safe. Grab some of the loot in this room. Green vase, purple vase, gold candlestick. This is what I'm looking for. All right, I could have stayed up there because it's actually very dark. Ah, this is what I'm looking for. There. This is what I'm looking for. See, are we safe? I think we're safe here. No, we're not. Ah, this is what I'm looking for. Here. Good. 21, 28, that's what I need to have at this point. So we took the prayer book now. Which is the St. Parador's prayer book here. And we took the green vase, the purple vase, the gold candlestick, three coin stacks. mantle up here now, that's the problem. And a gold vase we took as well. <laughs> Do that. We can mantle all the way up here. And then we can climb up here. This is then the entrance to the Hamorite Church from below, but I do not think you can go down that way. So we have closed up everything. Don't need to do anything down here. This room isn't that difficult if you know what to do. Mantling here without needing to jump, just direct mantles, that's the key. So there is a patroller that goes into the chapel, which is where we are going to emerge now. Now moved from the Burra Caves sort of underneath this area here. So we've now moved east and then are coming up in the chapel, which is in the southeast part of the Hamrite Church. So um, that's one out of several ways you can get into that. 
establishment, but that seemed like the most logical right now for me. So we can start by... Yeah, there is a um, hammer there, so I don't think he actually comes down here. Take this gold hammer. Total 2203, that was worth 75. Yeah, he does come down here, okay. There's one more piece of loot between the pews, and then there's one piece of loot up on the rafter. We'll wait for him to leave first. I think, <coughs> I think Skafki actually used the old character models. Um, the, the first ones that were released with the Dark Project. Because I haven't done anything to change that, and the, the models look very clunky and you know, pointed faces and all that. And that's part of the charm here. There's a purse here. statue that was one of the <clears throat> one of the last pieces of loot that I found when I played the mission I uh, had a couple of pieces in the Hamrite church actually that I was missing and that was one of them there are a couple of well hidden pieces outside as well down here, but we don't want to do it that way. I think we're safe here. that is going to come in here, I think, so we might as well just wait for him. We're going to head out that way. That's the only way to leave the chapel. Um, besides picking the lock on the door that I showed you up above. Controllers up here, I know, but some of them actually use the stairs. Head up and down a little bit. One piece. 
piece of loot, and that's from this room right here, or from the, this sink. Yeah, there's a goblet too. Gold goblet. There's a couple of pieces of food in here. And then that room there. I guess I can show it to you. The servant goes in there. That's just the dining hall. There's nothing to pick up here. That takes you out to the courtyard. And then the pickable door with the symbol on it. Identify the priest myself. Is there. And that's the one that we already visited that room. down to the basement. Notice that the lift is on the bottom floor. There are two deer legs and five cheeses in the kitchen, if you're interested in that. single coins under the elevator. This is also a very nice place to hide um, in case there's a patroller that comes into this room partly. Uh, we're not going to actually leave or go up again this way. So we have to lower them. Uh, is there a healing potion here? No. Those coins were worth three. Those I didn't have problem finding because you always check underneath lifts. That's just a classic way to to hide loot. Oh yeah, there's the guard coming. The door straight ahead here is through the wine cellar, and that we have to pick. There are two entrances to the wine cellar, but they're both pickable. There's no key that I know that uh, is assigned to those. And the faithful spoke, saying, Lo, with the scepter of righteousness has justice been forged. If thou wilt hearken to the design of the builder, has made. Okay. Two bottles of wine, nothing else in here except for the other door. Total 25.56. This is the door then to the wine cellar. And the faithful spoke saying hello with the scepter of one. Thief one. People don't hear hardly the doors opening. There's another guard here that I think comes down that has a purse. Worth 15. We're gonna head up where he went. So we can go out on the balcony here. This is actually um, on the southern end of the compound on the lower floor. You can actually drop down here from the bridge, but the bridge is very exposed. Uh, I don't think you can climb up here from the canal. You can drop down from the bridge. But here there's a piece of loot. Um, also one of the last ones I found. Total 2646. I'm definitely not safe here. Okay, let me show you where this leads. There's nothing to pick up in that next room. Sort of a little 
workbench. Who is there? Is some We're gonna reload anyway. Yeah. All is fine. Empty room. Uh, maybe this could have ended up being one of the gears that you can use. Have two options for that. I don't know. Would have been a little bit easy because you have a readable that hints to the gear in this building. Maybe that wouldn't be. Interesting ride. Oh! Wonder if any of the hammers take it. Okay. So I wanted to trigger that cue, and then if you go on the water wheel, you actually get hurt. Um. So this is also on the south side. But it's a little bit further east, I think. Down here. So you can mantle up here. If you follow the... Follow the canal down. Now you obviously pass the point of no return. here. This is the main entrance. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know if he gets off on this floor or not. I think he does, actually. Here, maybe we are safe. 2746, that gold vase by the front door was worth 100. We need to head upstairs, so that's why I need to wait for this guy. <coughs> Identify thyself. This is bringing us back to the courtyard from the south, and then in here, in this pool, there is one water arrow. That's really all there is. Bedroll and then five broad heads in one of these. Okay, so that guard. and I don't want to get caught here. Here's the builders. Yeah, so he doesn't give a first alert when they are stationed at the end of their patrol route. But then 
and they can give the settling remark afterwards. Access in there. Okay. So this leads up to the clock tower, or bell tower, not clock tower. <clears throat> up here, there is nothing really to pick up. Um, you can rope barrel up there, I guess, but there's nothing. So it's just in order to see the visuals and the scenery. Which is nice. I noticed that my frame rate is dropping a little bit here, but... What's more important is that this door here leads into the High Priest Chamber, and that is pickable, and I don't want to pick it. Instead, I want to jump across. It can be tough to do. Oh, the high priest is in the garden in the courtyard on the other side here. See that? Seven sixty, those were worth two on each. Over here, there is a magpie nest, I think, with a ring in it. And there is a readable that requests you to find three items that magpies have stolen. We haven't read that yet, but we will. That is worth 100 total, 2860. First, a purple base, gold candlestick. I'm gonna hide over here for him to come back. There are two readables. We can read those once we've knocked them out. 2960 is right, and I'll show you a couple of other things too. This is the pickable door that I didn't want to pick. a balcony. That's actually an alternate way into the church. You can head across this beam up the um, roof there. And it's actually more logical to come from the roofs and into the church rather than leaving. Um, I will show you, once I get to this area, I'll show you how to get there from another location. 
but you can get in that way. So I think we are, yes, yeah, right here on the northeastern part. And there's a couple of readables. Let's read the open letter first. Safe instructions. Read this letter carefully, for it holds the key to the safe. The safe needs a combination of ten digits to open, and the panel holds nine switches, so thieves and other rogues cannot easily crack it open. The safe's door marks with a system of gears that can be used to reset the safe's combination, so no one can easily memorize it. As I advise, advised Mr. Chansey to do, I assume he has a different combination every two weeks. In the event that thou need to reset the safe, safe's combination, thou must remove the central gear and replace it with a newly forged one. That's the one that we got from the uh, blacksmith. Our humble church lacks a forge, so I advised Mr. Chansey to seek the help of a local blacksmith. Once this new gear is in place, thou need to input a combination that contains every single digit available, in whatever order, and finally one last digit of your choice. This is critical. Every single lever needs to be flipped at least once. The safe then opens and stays like this for a few hours before the system closes it and memorizes the new combination. I hope that these simple instructions shall be of help to thee. Builder bless thee, Father Quentin. Okay, and then this one. Letter to Father Quentin. Father, I apologize for this massive, for this missive, but I seem to have forgotten how the safe your industrious brethren manufactured works. All I see are these, all these levers, and I also need to have a lackey fetch some metal part for it to work properly. Usually Mr. Chansey is the one who has knowledge of the safe, but he left for Cyric a few days ago, and I need to put a few valuables in it, in addition to the priceless piece it currently holds. However, I cannot get it, get it to open. My memory isn't what it used to be, and the mechanism seems too complicated for an old man such as me. Could you explain how it works again? I'd be eternally grateful if you did. Jeffrey Benathon, Chansey and Co. Warehouses and Storage, 887 Bulwark Street, downtown. So we have everything we need then in order to open the safe. Where there's something valuable and it's no secret that of course that's the antique scepter. Now we're gonna get there and then we have Lord Rainsford's statuette collection also to, to take. So basically we're done with most of the um, west or northwestern and part of the southern area of the map. We've done all of Lexham Manor, we've done all of the Hamrite Church. There's a couple of more things we're going to see here and take. Um, but we are now going to actually drop into the canal, head across here, and then loot Rainsford's uh, Manor, and then move south and hit Chansey and Co., and then move back here and then head up and do the middle island last and then head home. So that's basically our job right now. Know then to beware in combat these breakers to our place against their blandishments and to strike through their luck. Okay. <gasps> Don't need to head up here, but I'm going to show you. You can walk across the all the way around. You can jump across if you want to. And over here is a gas arrow. That's what I wanted to show. So this is a way to go around the entire map. And you can jump onto adjacent roofs and all that. So that gives you a sort of a an exploratory thief's highway, although no, maybe not intended. Okay, good. There was a guard there that I wanted to leave. Drop onto here and take a bracelet, and that is the second out of three treasures for the mag from the magpies. Okay, it's very difficult for me to know if I'm being heard here.
get across here, I know that. I might need a little bit more strategic in my angles. Definitely can't get across here. I've done that several times before. safe here from that archer. Don't know, but nobody hears you when you drop there. It's too far. So we took the bracelet, right? Yeah. Now, we have, like I said, arrived here. and he is then um, protecting the Rainsford Manor. So yeah, there are two guards with purses that we need right now that are right in this area. I want to get those immediately. Then they should come by right here. If I can get over to that patch of shade. So we're just south. We're in this corner right now. I think. There should be one other guard that I think also should come by here. Go see if I can see where he is. that's coming down the stairs. We should have 3,053 when we head into. When we head into Rainsford, so. See where he goes now. I thought he came over here. Let's wait a little bit. Oh, is he gonna 
come all the way over here, that's the question. Maybe he won't. No, he doesn't. Okay. So then he just goes up the stairs a little bit, and then goes down here, and down here. Okay, then we're gonna head over the bridge to get him. I couldn't remember exactly how I got that purse. I might have gotten it from the other side last time. Um, okay, then he comes, all right. can't hear his alerts. I didn't think I was alerted there, but I was. So yeah, we're gonna have to wait a little bit here to get the right cycle. I, I could have probably crossed the bridge earlier and waited across it for him to come. But I didn't know that he didn't come over here. Maybe he does, I'm not sure. Let's see. So here he comes goes down there. Well, that definitely saw there. Okay, so he stations himself ahead of, or in front of some of the posters. Okay, let me make a real save here, I think. does not come over here then, that was my mistake. I must have remembered this guy coming over here only. Well, then we have to get our butt over there and wait for him. there. He's going to go up the stairs up there, I think. Oh, we have to sit tight here. Maybe sitting tight here is better because we're not in somebody's path. I think this is better. So if you guys are confused right now, we've just crossed the bridge uh, on uh, Lidecker Avenue and we are in this little nook right here. Let's take our time and read today. Oh yeah, and here comes the bailiff guard. Then I'm happy that we moved over here. And the archer. This was a very good time to go. We found a very nice gap with the patrols here. Yeah, so we just have to hang back and then hopefully be able to grab his purse as he's coming down here. Uh, yeah, announcement, announcement, announcement. This is the magpie thing that I talked about. A few thieving magpies flew into my abode and stole my jewelry, including a very precious sapphire ring, a gemstone, and a silver bracelet. Uh, we have found the bracelet, and we have found the ring. We have not found the gemstone. That comes a little bit later. I'm hereby offering a reward of 250 crowns to anyone who could return these items to me. Please contact Melvin Byrne, Esquire, if you have recovered one or all items. No time wasters. I'm looking for fierce opponents for Chinkies, my deadly fighting ferret. I have him uh, fight in a bear pit, but Chinkies was just too strong for them. Contact Alan Ch Chapui on 457 Bulwark Street, Lower Suchime, if you think your animal is strong enough. So here it's linking it to disorientation takes place in Suchime, doesn't it? No, this is Suchime, sorry. Um, so that was a wrong link, so my head was... 
my head wasn't linking the right missions together there. Uh, let it be known that Lady uh, Aldonza is looking for a young woman with a fresh and good breast of milk who can serve as a wet nurse and can be well recommended to go into a family. I got a lot of fresh meat <laughs> unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. In fact, so much that I need it gone as soon as possible. If you're interested, meet me near the restaurant, the Overlord's Fancy, tonight, betwixt uh, murking and forenoon. No need to bring someone with you. I'm strong enough, and yes, I have a big cart. My iron hand somehow managed to escape from my sight. I can't do much without it. I'm not left-handed. Uh, last time I remember using it was in a game of... Uh, Kwa? What is this? Kwa? Is that a game or something? I haven't heard of that before. In Hightown. Kreutz? I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it. Please contact the market master of Tullerwall if you've seen it. And um, this one we did read, right? Yes. Those that are found after uh, sundown will be uh, jailed. So those we read. I don't think there are any more announcements. There are a few other places where they're posted, but I think they're the same ones as we've seen here. Yeah. Um, I guess, actually, we should have taken that purse then earlier when we took the gear. Because it's more difficult to come from this end. But we're not going to head back up here again, so I want to take it now. I love, uh, I love the use of these windows with a flickering light inside, so that's the only illumination you see in an otherwise dark tower. That's a very aesthetic and effective way of enticing you. Like, of course there's something up there. Uh, and that's really what New Dark has made possible. All these interiors, not just facades, but large layouts with actual interior design that is uh, that is possible to visit. Okay, I'm just seeing if there's a opening here. Where does he go? Does he go? Okay, he goes that way. So this is a situation then. When he is patrolling and then he stops, we could we could move now over to the bridge. Let me show you. Can't hear it anymore. See? Probably nothing. So he actually gives an alert, though not a verbal one, just the game registers it as an alert. So then when he starts patrolling again, he will start giving the remarks. So that is so sneaky because could save them without hearing the alert, thinking that you're fine. <coughs> oh, and now he comes. How incredibly unfortunate is that? Okay. Maybe I was hidden behind the post there, but I was not.
Yeah, that guy was headed away from me, right? That guard back there. I can't really see, but now I see it. He was not going towards me, so there's no way he alerted. That guy didn't alert, and there was nobody else around, so we should be good there. Yeah, and the archer was coming out, so he was hidden behind that corner, totally. Nobody was up top either. I think that anybody up top, like west of the storefront, they would be too far away to even trigger their patrol. No way those guards in the distance will see us. So if I go slow here, that guard should not see me either. Is that you? Oh. looking this way, so we need to get up there. The front door that he's guarding is pickable, but we don't need to get in that way. There's also a door up on this balcony that's pickable, but it's not necessary to pick either of those. here and we're going to listen to a conversation soon. The only entrance for us if we don't want to pick any locks is on the top floor. Now, <laughs> here is a corpse with two broadheads stuck in her or him. Is it a man? I'm not sure. I want to make sure that I don't get spotted by that card. here now. <coughs> Here's a dead thief. We sure showed those two tappers what we're made of. <laughs> The sir told us to be on the lookout for only one thief, though. And a skilled one at that, apparently. He never talked about two thieves. Especially two losers like those. Why do you even care? Oh, we got some in the end. We did our job, and we did it good. Smacked him right across the face. <laughs> that one's eye almost popped. The sir is sure to give us a raise. I don't like this. Hey. Keep shop, you idiot. I'm staying here while you go and fetch one of those lackeys to clean this mess. There's blood everywhere, and it ain't my job to wash it. <coughs> Statues, statuettes are false or fake. Pick one up and see. Damn, it's a fake. Fake statuettes. So these are put out on display in order to catch us then. So they killed the wrong thieves. There were other thieves that were. Uh, I need to 
just have to be a little bit quick here. We have to head all the way down. There's nothing on this floor. This is the middle floor exit. That's pickable. Look at this top. Hey, over here. <laughs> Oh, we'll be in Taff if this isn't cleaned up. <laughs> so that was just the scripted response from the one guard, because he went down and got the servant. <laughs> so that servant isn't there until you trigger the, the conversation. That servant is response. So if you actually pick the lock on the door and go, you know, on the lower floor first, he isn't there. You can take the loot there easily. But I don't want to pick the lock on that door, so we have to spawn him by entering through the third floor um, because that triggers the guard to go down and get the servant. So he hasn't spawned until that time. And now the guard goes back up. The servant will end up making a loop up in the room where we took the <coughs> candlesticks. No, not the candlesticks, the, the, the coin stacks. We took two silver and one copper. For a total of 3,082. And this guard will end up patrolling all the way from the bottom floor to the fourth floor. There are four floors here. We're now on the second one. Came from the. <coughs> we came from the third one. So we're gonna head down here. Grab this and this vase, two vases, total of 32, 32. That's all there is down here. First time I played this mission, uh, there was something wrong with the servant, I think. Oh no, you know what it was? I blackjacked the guard. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Let's see, is there anything else in here? Hmm. Thought I saw something. No. else in this sitting room right here. Yeah, the first time I played, uh, now I remember, um, when I just did my blackjack run the first time through it, I hello, I blackjacked the two guards that were involved in the conversation. That spawned the servant on the first floor, but there was no guard to trigger the servant to actually continue walking. found if you stand in that corner, he gives the first alert, but if you walk up on the railing, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, so if you ghost, then you'll be able to do it fine, because the servant will leave, but he will be stationed down there, and that makes it very, very difficult for you to get the, get the loot there. Okay, so this is... Rainsford, I assume. Oh, can't do that thing. <coughs> Leave that open. Huh? Okay, he saw me there. <coughs> huh? I thought he was stationed there longer than that. <coughs> What's up? <coughs> okay. Well, we might have to wait then. <coughs> oh, we can do that if that's all that is there. Oh, I can't have that clunk. I can't hear him saying anything either. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> if we jump up on the bed here, we're good. So we have to wait for him to come in here. Actually. 
We're gonna have to pick the lock on this. <coughs> Rainsford's document. Uh, month of Monath. Income, charities and donations, pipeweed sales, expenses, torches and tinderbox, healing poultice, wineskins, sacred wine, golden uh, skin balls. Lucky painted pebbles, information, pomigliano, and guards and servants. Total $29.90. Third gift for Captain Ragnar, and also the last. If I'm not hearing anything from the High Watch Secret Society after that, he can try to sit on a lit brazier for all I care. So that was uh, this expense right here. Uh, Sir Gomer, Gomersall was gifted a vase that sings strange songs when water is poured inside by an Eastern ascetic. ascetic. I need to discuss with Florence about this matter. Month of Pluvier. Income, charities and donations, pipewood sales, yendo, main mort, scented oil sales, expenses, wineskins, Sacred wine, lucky painted pebbles, rat poison bandages, contract with Florence, guards and servants. I don't feel luckier despite having a vault full of those. So that was the pebbles. And extra for the steward and the cooks, most excellent performance at the banquet. Month of Pampanosis, which I think is the month we're now. Income, charities and donations, pipewood sales, Florence, um, 1400 to Florence. Okay, expenses, wineskins, or from Florence. Information to Donald, strangling syrup, <laughs> golden tintinable, tintinabulum, don't know what that is, guards and servants, total 4034 got only half of what I paid, as we agreed on a little farce for the miserable rogue who stole the vase I was after. <clears throat> the downrenders have found a safe way to pass small cargo underneath Whitebridge using ropes and a pulley, might come in handy. So I think White Bridge is down here. And that is actually a hint for how to get into Chansey and, and Co, I believe. <coughs> so this document we're gonna need, you'll see that in a little bit once we open the safe. his purse as well. <coughs> we have to pick open that that chest there. So we got 3265, that's correct. So we took four statues there, uh, worth 200, and a trophy worth 150. So the statues is the statuette collection that we need to steal. So we should have 3615. And then there's another readable. Arnulf. I'm absolutely sure of it now. Talbot is none other than Garrett, the bastard son of a hammer who robbed me of the precious emerald vase I had stolen from Sir Gomersall and was then going to sell you. I was suspicious and, after a few well-placed inquiries, managed to contact him through my network of associates. It was rather difficult, but he seemed down on his luck, and we soon reached an agreement. Let's just say he seems to find me to his liking. So coercing him was definitely not as hard as finding him. I had him do an, a few easy jobs for me, and he now trusts me enough to have agreed to go after your collection of statuettes tonight. This is the perfect occasion to kill him. Put your statuettes on display so they act as bait, but make sure your manor is secure and your guards more than ready. This is a guy who managed to steal a Zemlar acceptor from under her nose, very nose, a few months ago. Garrett is no downwinder winder amateur, but nobody crosses us and lives, Florence. Okay, lots to talk about here. So obviously, uh, Arnolf Reigns uh, Ford is his full name, and um, we have now taken his document, not this one, but the, the other one we took, where you can see how he is corrupt and paying people off.
and we have the document from Florence um, hiring Arnulf to kill us uh, and setting it us up. So Arnulf, no, Florence was the one contact who told us to steal the statuette collection then. Who tipped us off and he has um, tried to get us killed then. So uh, we're going to get a new objective here, but I need to get into safety. Well, that was a surprise. Incriminating letter to Rainsford. So that acquaintance wants you dead, eh? Give her a taste of her own medicine. Deliver both her letter to Rainsford and uh, his document to the church donation box. So we are going to put both of them away. And um, that is not necessary to do for Supreme, but it's an extra objective. So I always want to do all the objectives I can, if possible. <coughs> That guard is on his way up here. Then we should be safe here. Is someone there? I think we can do this for a little bit faster. What's that in the... Okay, maybe not. Right here, maybe? Is that you? Absolutely. Worst timing, but I think we found the opening now. So this door we don't have to close. That was open when we came. actually see, if you follow the servant back up when he gets the orders to clean up this mess, he actually picks up both of the bodies and tosses them over the fence and uh, throws them down here. So that's why they're down here now. Did that shadow move? over the edge here you can actually land can't do that fast enough, so we just have to wait here. So here we're safe. When he leaves, we can land on the lamppost there. That's not a problem. Okay, so we are going to now head south. We have the wine cellar, no, the wine sommelier to rob here, and then we have Chansey. Our 
scepter objective, and then we have to go by the church to drop off those two documents. <coughs> so I don't think we have any supreme busts yet. Um, I know some of you might have a differing opinion on that whole scenario where we open the door or push the wall out to the Burrick tunnels, but we have discussed that on the forums and we decided that that wasn't a bust. I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. She tries to use your opportunity, but... Did that shadow move? Oh, I wasn't crouched. Why was I not crouched? I can sneak over there slowly, then he is not gonna he is not gonna alert to me there that way. There's no way. There's no way he sees this. Yes. Who's there? Oh, you gotta be kidding me here. Okay. Well, we should be safe from. Bailiff guard here, probably. There's another archer here? I didn't know that. Okay. So this archer must be covering this street then. And there's another archer covering this street. Pretty heavily guarded here, but there is no thief's highway that you can take. Well, 
that's not gonna work. We have to wait. The two readables on the wall there, I think we've read them both. I don't think there's anything new there. This is PEX, Sommelier, and uh, 3665 for that loot, and then there's another stack of silver coins, 3677 behind the counter. And here, um, this one holds two water arrows, and then there are two readables. This one isn't fully in the trash bag. <clears throat> Letter to Mr. Peck. W. Nils, the Lackwood butcher from Chapman's Court, uh, bought a dozen explosive mines from my shop about three weeks ago. That Cretan is always up to no good, but this time I'm really worried he might be might blow the whole court up with his antics. Go to his shop and try to see what's going on. Be careful, though. He may be stupid, but he's as strong as an ox and quite that paranoid type. Yes, Mr. Peck, you are technically absolutely correct when you say White Bridge belongs to downtown, but it really is very simple. I've explained it to you about ten times already, but it seems you still don't understand. It doesn't really surprise me since I'm of higher rank than you, a gin seller of low birth, and thus I naturally understand the efficient mechanism of our fair city's administration. I hope this simple message will be enough this time. Whitebridge is an autonomous district with its own laws and doesn't fall under downtown's laws and jurisdiction, despite it being technically a district of downtown for administrative convenience. I'm thus powerless to prosecute Mr. Dunch, since she lives in Whitebridge, and I only prosecute citizens who fall under the law of downtown. Now go bother someone else and never write to me again, or I shall have you sent to the stocks for two weeks, and I mean it. Magistrate Gilby, 7882 Rainholm Street, Suchime District, downtown. Okay. Some internal squabbles here, it seems like. think nobody actually spots me here. What do I see there? So it's this window back here that lights us up. Okay. We have to actually drop into the canal here. That's what I like to do. And then flow downhill. <coughs> I don't want that splash there. Check these two. Yeah, we've seen both of these before. down here and then stick to the bottom as much as we can. We can make a save here. Stick to the bottom, stick to the shade.
Let's see. Here we can surface. Okay. So we've now taken the canal and done a shortcut down here. Because there's a guard right outside the main entrance to Chansey and Co. that stares west. And I'm not sure if you can go across the bridge, but it doesn't seem very sneaky. And there's also these archers they're patrolling. So very, very difficult to know if you've been caught there. <sighs> so I'd rather want to go here. This is a back way. This is a rope arrow hint. In fact, you can use a rope up here. Chancy. See, this can be a little bit tough here. Let me make a real save. There's a lot of loot in here. Let's see. Oh, this one we did not need. That was uh, eight broadheads. There's a rug back here. Difficult to find that one. 3712. That's a flash bomb, we don't need that. Someone there. We can jump up on here too. Here are two stacks of silver coins, two stacks of copper coins, total 3746. Okay, he sees that was actually through the crates. That's a little bit of... Uh, I'm going to read a couple of things in that room. We don't need those, but I'll read it when he leaves here, and then we can... <laughs> oh! I did not know we were dark here. That's a good find. Letter from the back blacksmith. Mr. Chansey, the newly forged piece you commissioned is finished. As always, it was forged following your exact instructions. The piece is waiting for you at my smithy at on Lidecker. Best regards, Lionel Andrews. Chansey's instructions. Joffrey, I received an important shipment from Bonn on Steam's Day. It contains an antique item I know those vultures at Grimworth and the Perrin have been after for quite some time, and I have reason to believe they have employed at least a dozen rogues to try and steal it. Sadly, I cannot prove it. I don't care how you do it, but please keep that item away from you and double the guard. Tell them to be on the lookout for suspicious characters. Tell them that will offer compensation to anyone that gets beaten up by mistake. <laughs> that is fantastic. That is just... I didn't remember that. That is got to be one of the best lines I've read in a while. 
it, it doesn't matter. I mean, that just really encompasses the ruthlessness of these people. The level at which they're willing to go to get whatever they want done, done. You know, if they beat up somebody by accident, sure. We'll just pay him off. <laughs> Great. I shall already be off to Cyric by the time you read this missive. The item is stashed in the safe, but no measure of security can stop a strong-willed thief. Keep it safe. I'm putting my utmost trust in you. Manfred Chansey. that then. So that's a necklace worth 38, 36. All of these lockpicks we have to make. Oh. Are we safe here? This is the main entrance that I think can be picked open. <coughs> necklace was worth 65. here too. But I guess we have to wait for him. There's a gold goblet in that thing. It's the last piece of loot besides the objective. Oh, we can't pick it from here. I don't know, I'm happy I did not save. <sighs> In the meantime here. I understand what he could have alerted to earlier there. He must have heard something when he was stopped in his patrol. That's what it must be. And then he didn't... This is the gear then that we need to replace with our gear. Who goes there? The gear that we have. I 
there. Nobody, <coughs> nobody detects that. Now this cube here, I don't want to just leave here. Um, I'll bring it with me and I'll drop it in the canal. I think that's the best way to do it. You can't carry it with you everywhere, so. <laughs> Let's read this. Note to staff. The safe's walls and door are extremely thick and as a security measure there uh, is no air duct within it. This means that, for obvious reasons, you have absolutely no business staying in the safe and your family shall not obtain compensation in the event that you somehow find yourself inside when the door is closed and then suffocate. Man for Chansey. Okay. So what was the code here? One of each? Additional one. Isn't that it? This will make a nice little bonus. Who's there? That's the only thing we need to take from in there. There's nothing else that's valuable. You can't close this either. This will make a nice little bonus. Antique scepter. At least I haven't found any way to close it. Mm -hmm. I tried to flip everything. I'll try a little bit more, but I don't think you can close this. And the other things in there are just empty or junk items to us. So this antique scepter checks off the find and steal the antique scepter. <laughs> Who's there? Hello? Sorry, I made a No, that doesn't work. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Apologize if you guys hear some noise. There's what was someone making noise in the background here. <laughs> oh, nice shot. How can we do this? Oh yeah, I gotta go down, drop the junk gear, and then come back up. I just don't want to leave this right on the path of somebody's patrol route. That doesn't seem... Doesn't seem 100% okay. Although, we have to remove it, so I guess it's not... It's not that terrible. Check here. Uh, 3861, that's right. And we have all the objective except for the dropping of things. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop into the canal here. I'll probably drop it down here. That seems best, that seems most concealed.
Okay, here I have a moss arrow right up underneath this archway. So we should be safe here. We are uh, just below the inn, which you can't get in, or one of the inns that you can't get into. Um, and we are now going to head up and loot churches, church way. There's a residence here that we can get into, and some rooftop stuff that we can go to here. And then, of course, we have to drop off the stuff. This is uh, Jeremy's residence, but the door is locked and pickable. I don't want to pick it because you can get in another way. It's uh, readable. The rent is due, Taffer. Pay up or face the consequences. Here are two readables that we've already read, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? Much coffees this morning. Oh no, I'm no, no. As hell. Seems clear. <coughs> this guy, we can't get past here. <laughs> this is not good. This might be a while ago he got stuck too. There's a window up there that we need to get to. Oh <coughs> man. <laughs> okay, can we free him, but sometimes it, no. Sometimes a reload frees him. We have to jump across that ledge up there too. Why isn't he alerting now? Is that you? It seems like he's almost embedded into the signpost there. <coughs> I'm afraid of saving here. Look at that. He's like stuck in the l in the signposts. <coughs> I don't think there's any way of coming up here any other way. <coughs> Didn't he alert there? He did. He just didn't say anything. Can't oh. hear it anymore. Probably nothing. Okay, that's weird. <coughs> I don't think there's any way we can try go by here. We can maybe if we accept picking the lock on Jeremy's door then, because that would be a necessary <coughs> acceptable thing to do. Yeah, because they stop right by the lamppost's or the signpost at the end of the patrol is usually pretty close to one of those objects so he slid into that well if we can mantle in um, if we can pick the lock on Jeremy's door we can actually go through the other way we're gonna have to take one extra lock pick then but that is necessary now Any other way I can get up to? Let me check here. Who is there? Is someone there? Oh wait! 
Okay. If we jump over here, we can do it without picking the lock. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and reload this one. We might be able to do this. alerts there. <laughs> we need to get up there, to that balcony. There's no way to do that without sneaking across that bridge here. I can still avoid picking the lock on that door. That stuck archer is really, really bad. We might not be able to leave that way. I don't want that clunk. Can I mantle up there, maybe? <gasps> that he heard, he saw. on Jeremy's balcony right now. This is good, I think. Now we can do that. Okay, here. I have one, two, three coins. And then we are going to use a rope. Third and last, the magpie treasures. It's a diamond. Worth 100, total 39.64. Okay, so this is the door then to Jeremy's residence, and I didn't want to pick that. In here is also a green vase, total 41.04. There's also a fire poker here, 4069. Uh, nothing else in here except for a readable and two apples and a carrot. Jeremy, I'm afraid I'm in, in a bit of a pickle. Yeah, so are we with that archer. I wanted to get a hold of a vase I saw while I was in Bright Cobble from that renowned shop you know about. So I obviously didn't have the money for it, so I started looking for a few sneaks who could handle the job. I wanted to hire someone who could pull it off without too much commotion. 
As you know, you usually found, uh, get found if your thief gets caught. Anyhow, I managed to contact a member of the Deep Shine Guild, Gast on the Reds Band. He's from um, Puraz Calendar's Legacy. Uh, you end up killing Gast on the Red there. Uh, who went into hiding. He told me he knew uh, one very skilled thief, a man going by the name of Hume, but hadn't heard of him for years. He then told me a young prodigy named Flemmer uh, Guchingian could potentially pull off the job. I learned the hard way that he meant uh, that in jest, because I'd wager hiring this Flemmer individual was the worst mistake of my whole life. He looked very juvenile when I met him in person, but I didn't think much of it. The thing, though, is that not only did this guy hack the taffing shop door to pieces with an axe, but he broke a few vases, including the very one I wanted. And, to top it all off, he was carrying my, my written orders. It's a good thing I used an alias, but I'm feeling watched now. I saw a few policemen near my house and thought I was done for. Is there any way you or a trusted colleague could figure out um, if, author if the authorities, be they the Baron's police or the Hammers, are actually looking for me? can't live in this constant fear, and I'm also afraid this Flemmer guy is going to divulge my identity. Please, help your good friend. So, Hume, this is very interesting, because Hume is actually going to be the protagonist uh, in, in the Black Parade. It's not going to feature Garrett, it's going to feature Hume, but it's in the same universe, and it's uh, another thief from the same city. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be set this year or in this timeline or anything like that whether it's before or after what we're reading here but Yume is the character and this is the first time I think that we're getting introduced to him alright let me just check something here because I'm off in my loot order now I believe we're good here jump up here, and this is the way that I had intended on getting in. Now we have to modify. <laughs> Alright. Head over here. There's a stack of copper coins. Total 40.74. That isn't pickable, is it? No, it's not. Yeah. Okay. So he should be over here then. This thief. Yeah, there he is. Okay, that's good. He doesn't see us right now, at least. Let's see if we can make the mantle here. What's that? I was a little bit fast, maybe we can go a little bit slower. that maybe he is like halfway embedded into the lamppost. So if we... Is that you? Yeah, we did it. Maybe this one blocked his view or something, I'm not sure. We didn't get a first alert there. That is crucial right there. Awesome. So this is where we should have entered. Three stacks of silver coins, total 4110 here. Well, now the question is, are we going to be able to get out of here without getting spotted? Oh, 
goes, Hamrites. He goes over to the main entrance of the church. Well, at least we don't have to deal with this archer patrolling. If we can, we just have to jump over there. If we can jump over there without a first alert, we're good. Because this is perfect supreme ghostable, this mission, so I don't want to risk anything here. Okay, he is first alerting still, so I'm very happy that we didn't get a first alert. That's excellent. I'm gonna make a real save. There. Okay. What we can do is do this very risky jump here. We don't need to do that, but if you head over here, <coughs> you can find two healing fruits and a readable. Hard to reach note. Way to go, G. If you read this note, this means you're completely reckless and don't value your life much. I knew you were a hothead, but I didn't think you were this fearless. Bring that note back with you, and I'll buy you around at the Crippled Burrick. In the meantime, have these delicious plumsies. Hopefully they haven't rotted by the time you find them. So I always thought you could actually bring that back to the pub, and, I don't know, hit a hidden objective or something, but you can't, unfortunately. Okay, we're gonna head over here. <laughs> What do we have here? This is Duke Leonard's balcony. So we can't actually enter Duke's Leonard, uh, Duke Leonard's, but we can take his loot up here. These won't alert us. Gold goblet. One, two, three. Regular goblets. Four regular goblets. And a bottle of wine. Total 43.20. My frame rate is actually getting low here. hallway that we haven't been to before. Um, two stacks of copper coins, total 40, 4330. And if we go to the other side here, we're going to see where this takes us. It takes us to the outside of Blexa Manor. So this is the pipe that I showed you earlier. We entered that way, but it's a lot easier to come in this direction. Okay. Now we have to get down here. And... Um, the absolute easiest way to do that is to jump from here in a mantle. So we're going to do that, but we're going to have to wait for that hammerite to... <laughs> to leave. So if you run or make a slight jump here, you can mantle up the edge of the balcony because we need to drop Rainsford's letter and his document. That's uh, the only objective that we have left to do, and there's not that many more loot items to get either. There are some, but... <coughs> Alright, let's do this. First try. for that. I'm right to come back. 
back here. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Thought it was a perfect shadow and it wasn't. Oh, and now that. Who guy. is there? Um, bailiff's guard or something like that that's coming. This guard doesn't alert to us, this front door guard here. <coughs> However, there is a guard in the distance that can alert. You can see him up there barely. This guard has the key then to the front door. This card has a purse, and we're going to end up taking that purse. was worth um, six, total 43.36. So we are now, um, we are now right here. So we have a fork in the road. We can either go northwest or east. Go up here and grab two coins. exposed here. staircase that you can see here. Okay, let me show you guys something first. Oh! The door you can't open. I'll reload. Head all the way this way, get to a couple more of the same posters. Uh, here, a thief would be located, one of the three thieves that you can trigger. This is another sewer entrance that I haven't shown you yet. But there's no real need to enter the sewers at all. I'll show you where the 
this goes if you take it. Surface for air. So we're now headed south to the east. also have to pick open, so if you're going to use this, you need to leave two doors unlocked. This takes you to the canal. Um, so this is just uh, west, I believe, of the Hamrite Church right here. So there's plenty of ways you can mantle up here, too, if you come that way. We're not going to go there. Instead, we're going to head in here. <gasps> Candlesticks, total 43.88. And um, now with this window, we haven't gone. We can actually, there's a row barrel up here. This is where I was earlier to access the sewer. Goblet right here. Can I take it? <gasps> if we lurk ourselves down here, we can grab it. Goblet worth 15, total 43, no, 4403. The only place we haven't looted now is the Bailiff's estate. Luckily, there's not a lot of patrollers that can see you. So we're going to end up picking the lock on this door right here. Uh, there are a total of three or four entrances into the Bailiff's estate. So we have now jumped from this tower over and entered this building. Cold candlestick. Plate. This is the bailiff house key. We need to do that. And drop it back. Um, if this hadn't been here, then you would have had to pick the pocket of uh, the guard for this door. Or for this building. And uh, we need a green vase as well. 4553. And that should be max for the mission. Uh, that is full loot. 4553. Without a single first alert and a single supreme bust. Now, there are a couple of readables in here. Sir, I regret to inform you that we received a few complaints from the common folk this evening about two of your officers, Chiswick and Eric. It turns out these two men have been drunk the whole evening and have pestered quite a few people, most notably Lady Fleming, who screamed at me from the top of her lungs for a good half hour. I know you take your job very seriously, and I imagine you are going to look into this matter, so it is resolved as fast as possible. Sincerely, Hubert Ellington, Esquire. Mr. Northwood, I have written to you our Burgomaster Lord Win Vincellian and our Lord Mayor, the most esteemed Lord Shafferley, multiple times about the insulting letters I and other nobles from Suchheim District have been receiving, and I note with displeasure that nothing has been done about it. We are still receiving his disgusting missives on a regular basis. I will not let my honor be insulted by this Steel Hawk character any longer. I hereby challenge the scoundrel to a duel, and I shall prove my valor by slaying him. Have your men scour the whole of downtown and find him. I and the others are not paying our taxes to the Baron, so you can slack off and wait upon your duties to the city and his nobility. You and your policemen are meant to protect us, and that begins with our honor. I do not salute you, Lord Randall. Interesting. Okay. So we're going to leave through this door, but I wanted to show you the alternate route into the Hamrite Church as well. Gap. 
here you find uh, a couple of water arrows, I think. Uh, three water arrows. You can jump down on this. Now you're above the plaza by the well. <laughs> you can't climb up here. But in here, you can find a rope arrow, for example. <laughs> Head up this window. to the high priest balcony right here. So that yard there doesn't do anything. So there's a lot of optional ways around. So I now went over here and accessed the Hamrite uh, church from the north. We are done. Let me just check. Scepter is the objective, 4553. I think we started with the healing potion, didn't we? Prayer book, and that's it. So now we just have to make it back. Awesome, then we can just head out. We dumped it. This oh no. Supreme Ghost Run of The Sound of a Brick in a Room. 
That took two hours and nine minutes and 16 seconds. We took 4553 loot out of 4553. We picked six pockets. That's the minimum. I think they're all purses. Uh, no, we took a couple of keys. We took the butcher's key. Uh, I guess that was the only key we picked. Locks picked 14. That's also minimum. We managed to avoid that lock pick even though the, the archer was stuck. No backstabs, no knockouts, no damage dealt taken or healing taken, nothing and nobody killed. Great. This is, like I said before, one of the best designed city missions I think I've ever played. Um, and it uses only stock textures, so uh, it maybe looks a little bit more simple in that regard, but that was a requirement for the contest, so that's no slight on the mission at all. So um, the next Thief mission I'm going to do, I actually haven't decided on yet, so I will give you that update. Um, the next video because we're going to go back to the dark mod we're going to play talbot 2 return to the city that's another milan mission it's a shorter one but it's it's a good one so that will be the next video and then i'll announce the next thief mission at the end of uh, talbot 2 so the dark mod next and then we'll see where we go from there um yeah hope you guys enjoyed this uh, leave a comment um, and uh, feedback is always welcome appreciate that have a good night bye, -bye.